<laughs> yeah. And, and so it tells him, you're, look, I'm looking for a guy that can play a happy-go-lucky man spider. All right, listen. Not somebody who has brother issues and wants to destroy villages. All right. <laughs> it, 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 guess what he tells me? He's, he says he's going to put me in Genjutsu. <laughs> Can you believe this guy? Like, I'm like, yo, you're sure. in that type of party. <laughs> we have a problem. Uh, hold on. Hold on, Mom. I'll, I'll call you back. What can I do for you, Jerry? So PlayStation just announced that Marvel Spider-Man is coming on PC. Those bastards actually did it. <laughs> Wait. So, so you knew about this? Know about it? <laughs> Hell, I'm the one who suggested it. But I, I thought the whole point was making sure that Marvel Spider-Man was the greatest Spider-Man game ever made that only PlayStation players can play. Why would you put it on PC? Why would you even suggest it? Uh, Jerry, you, you think too little. You gotta think of the bigger picture here. Jerry, when you look at PC players, what do you see? Uh, a bunch of weebs who have no idea what to do with their lives and have a lot of time on their hands. Besides that, I see potential. Potential PC players willing to make a name for themselves on social media. Why not YouTube? And they can bring their vast knowledge of mods to this wonderful game and make a name for themselves. Sir, I'm not following. I mean, we all know what PC players are really capable of. I mean, look at God of War. They did Homer Simpson and CJ from Grand Theft Auto San Andreas, and it made it work. The way I see it, Xbox players who have a PC can use their controllers after, I don't know how many years, and actually play a wonderful game, and we get the good little money in our pocket. It's a win-win scenario. Well, more of a win for us. Wait, sir. Are you saying that you made Marvel Spider-Man available on PC so that we can... Exactly, Jerry. Why would we waste all our time making suits for the next game? All the time, energy, and resources, and especially the money, where there's literally suits that we can grab for the taking on the silver platter. Sure, the suits might be a little wonky in the beginning, but eventually, they'll do better. Hell, that's what we really strive for when we're making this game. To be greater. Why not do greater on these suits? I mean, we can just, you know, download the mods for ourselves, you know, critique it a little bit, make it to our own fitting, and bam, put it in Marvel Spider-Man 2. We can redefine gaming as it should be. Hell, the, the community is actually doing a great favor to us. It's free labor. They're literally doing our work for free. We can spend less time and energy making these suits for the next game. And people can see their families. Well, sir. That's actually a pretty good plan. Well, evil genius type shit. Like Lex Luthor. Kind of like on Dick Richards type level. Oh, uh, I'm not even close on Dick Richards uh, level. Listen, if I'm evil, that guy's diabolical. If you must know, Dick Richards is a character that the Warp Zone uses on the YouTube channel. Just go check him out. Pretty good content they're making over there. But, but sir, aren't you worried that the game might be a little bad with the mods. What do you mean? I don't know, I'm just thinking of mods they might make, like Kermit, Shrek, or they can make non-playable characters playable. I mean, who wants to play as Mary Jane? People really hated the Mary Jane missions. And I guess that would take away from the game itself. It'd be a little not taking it seriously. It'd be funny as hell though. I mean, think about it. What if we had Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles in the game? Oh, I never thought about the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Actually, probably might be a pretty cool mod. I'm not going to lie to you. Yeah, I know, right? Especially in the night setting for New York. Totally perfect. Well, all right, sir. You sure? All good with it. Then uh, I'll make sure to go to the others. It was actually pretty um, kind of losing our minds. So uh, uh, I'll get to it. I love my job.